every time he walks in here, he buys a what? Deal breed. Now both are spending. Tros, always ready for a deal. First white gold watch to ever sell over resale price. What do you want? Come get it. Hit me up if you're interested. We're going to answer in it. Bang out of order. It's wrong. This Rolex, which I bought in Cayman, and I bought them new. Obviously, I don't have the box for obvious reasons. Yeah. But what I do have is the. Um, That's your warranty card for the Mercer. Proof of purchase with that, and the and the Rolex. So the Val Mercer probably isn't one for us. Okay. It's a nice piece, I quite like that, but I've really struggled to get a strap for it, you know. Basic condition, it's not, it's not terrible to you, fair. Have you never, you never got a polish, have you? I think it got once. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. Like say, it's, it's, it's still quite sharp to you, fair. I mean, I don't wear it a lot. Yeah. Serviced? Any service is true of Once, well? I think, but I don't know okay, the history, yeah. 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 I mean, I'll be, I'll when did I buy it? I mean, it's 07. Like, yeah, I mean, yeah. Christ. Time flies, doesn't I it? I don't mean? even live there anymore. Oh, was that? oh yeah, of course, yeah. yeah. I mean, as it stands, considering it, it will definitely need a service. I'm not, I'm not, I won't be strung up on the condition, because I'll be honest, it's not terrible condition. She needs a small polish, but I'm not, I'm not too fussed. We do that anyway. Yeah. yeah, five, seven. I'll give you transfer. Okay, well, let, let me think. I mean, I work up here. Deal breed. So we're shaking it, shaking it. <laughs> Good man. Uh, so you've got a sub date, stainless steel, on the warranty card. Brand new in 2007 from Turks and Caicos. Straight into the uh, into the polishers, go for a service, clean up and a spruce and we'll be ready in about three weeks. Yes guys, how are we doing? So today we're on the balcony, it's a lovely summer's day and I have four lovely summer watches for you guys. Here in front of me I have four Rolexes fitted with custom rubber straps, however we do not sell these straps on their own. So if any of you guys are interested, we won't sell the strap on their own, they only come with the watch purchase. You also get the full metal straps with the watch, so don't fear, you do still get the full set. If any of you guys are interested, feel free to drop me a message on Instagram. Comment below, let me know what you think is your favourite strap. I, for one, love the Rolex Yachtmaster with the baby blue strap to match the baby blue ticker. Comment below, let me know what you guys think is your favourite. And if you're interested in any of the watches, feel free to WhatsApp me or Instagram. So, my good client Stefan has been inquired about the Meteorite GMT Master 2. He wanted some more pictures of it sent over. He's coming up next week. He wants to have a look at it. So I'm going to send it in for a little touch up of a polish. Try my best to get it sold. I think I will because every time he walks in here, he buys a watch. So hopefully next week, this is gone. Diamond date just put you on going out today. The lovely ladies, 26 mil. My favorite one, the concealed bracelet. It's always a lovely one for the ladies. Ladies, if it's not concealed, it's not not the right one. Mark. It's happened again. What? Tottenham was. Now I've overspent again. For my shout out to my fellow Arsenal fans. More pain coming this season. Anyway, besides that, new stock as per usual. Another week, another 15 watches on a Tuesday. Ladies have been selling really good lately. Still in gold with factory diamond dials. I did see an opportunity to buy this lovely Storm Rose date just for the concealed bracelet. Factory diamond dial. Of course, the hottest watch of the moment, the new green ombre Cartier de Santos. Did see a very nice condition, still in gold Daytona, but what a face. That's it, so I couldn't refuse that, I had to buy that. Probably the prettiest watch out of the bunch for you lovely ladies. Stainless steel, midi 31 mil date just with a factory white mother of pearl dial. This watch is complete with full box and paperwork. I think this is up for a fantastic price. 
£6,850. Right, so we've got a, a 126334 with a mint green dial. At the moment we've got on a green rubber strap. It does however come with the metal strap as well. If you are interested, drop me a message on Instagram and we'll get back to you ASAP. We tend to work a bit fast, so if there's anything misdemeanor, drop off to us first. We tend to have a turnover about two weeks. Uh, and it's 2022? 2022, yeah. So basically, I came in here Monday. Yeah. I, could, I showed the messages and stuff, but um, yeah. yeah, he offered it to me for 12,250. Good price. Since I've come in, I've actually had someone else offer me the same watch 2022 for 12 flat. Yeah. Um, could, you, could you match it? If you match it, I'll pay for it right now. Trotters is always ready for a deal. Brackets within reason. We gotta eat as well. But yeah, we're always always willing to do a deal. Obviously, with all due respect, you gotta respect the business as well. You gotta allow us some some margins. But we're always happy to go again. And hopefully Sam will be coming back to chop it in for something better. Today has been a good day. Friday morning. Carl's not here. We are busy, busy, busy. We have sold Four watches this morning. We've sold a Datejust 41 Mint Green, we've sold a Ladies 26 mil, we've sold a Bust Down Cartier, and we've also sold an OP Green Dial. It's been a good day, good start to the to the weekend, I'd like to say. Friday's a weekend day, roughly, yeah. Cool, it's a good start to the weekend. Hopefully it carries on through. It's, it's only one o'clock, we've been smashing it all morning. No Just pun intended. Of, <laughs> no <laughs> pun intended. We got the uh, Datejust 41, reference 126, 300. AKA Moisture Perpetual. <laughs> Shout out to my competition winner. Uh, just took a deposit on this, guys. If you are interested in, in another one, drop me a message and we'll get it sorted for you. I also took a deposit on the 218 Hulk. Customer coming in next week. We're smashing it today. Let's talk about John Mayer. <laughs> Let's talk about the John Mayer effect on these two bad boys. Prior to John Mayer, I even mentioned these watches. Rolex was just a humble, quiet, <laughs> I've actually got a guitar, but I just can't play. Anyone out there can give me some guitar lessons, you know, sort me out a nice little price. At the minute, all I can do is blink, blink, blink. But, you know, John Mayer effect, guys. John Mayer. Uh, were you actually going to say anything about those watches? Or? Oh, yeah. Prior to John Mayer talking about these watches, this yellow gold Daytona, the green face, was selling below this price. And so was this white gold one. And I'm gonna put it out there. I believe this is the first white gold watch to ever sell over resale price prior to the John Mayer interview with Hadinki. So prior to that, I've never seen a white gold watch in my career sell over list price. And then once the interview went live, everyone went crazy about it. And thinking about it, when is the last time we see a white gold Daytona with a blue face? or any daytime of a blue face. It was the racing blue, which is in the yellow gold watch or the still and gold one. That's a, that sells over list price by quite a lot still to this day. But in white gold, well done John, well done. Well spotted, ahead of his time. Back to the sales, we just took a deposit on the white gold Pepsi, we took a deposit on the pre-ceramic Kermit, the Starbucks, the Hulk, the Datejust 41s, the mints, what do you want? Come get, hit me up if you're interested. I'll get you another one. Polish work. We're at Walster Manor in, uh, in Essex, in Chigwell, and we're going to answer in your messages. This is a new segment, by the way, of Golf and Watches. Or well, if you've got a quirky name, tell us. We'll change it. <laughs> Mr. Jack Preston has said, what would you tell your younger self about the watch game? So, when I first joined it, I was 17. So I'd say your name is absolute credit. Don't diminish your name. Call on, stand on, because that goes a long way. I know many dealers who have started off within the like, first few years, like recent, and you try and do a couple of deals with them and it's like, oh, there's a problem, oh, it didn't come through. Not physical items and shit like that. So I'd say, yeah, just keep a strong name. It ain't as glamorous as what people think. 
Like at the end of the day, we're experienced now. But don't you think we made mistakes in the early days? Yeah, you got to take in until taking losses now. Not everything's a win. Yeah, but you, learn. you learn from your mistakes. You, you, you it, ain't all, it ain't all golfs and watches. I buy a shitload of fucking rubies, eighteen grand and olives, <laughs> and I'll put them away, and I'll be rich, motherfuckers. <laughs> and I won't be sitting here right now. <laughs> Take that. Man, Jay. <laughs> Mikey weren't there for vision, was he? Pro. I wanted some height. Oh, he got his driver out. Somebody's got three. <laughs> So it's Judd behind the screen. I'll be a bit bouncy. See how Cal gets on. <laughs> Zoom in, Judd. I'm trying. Strike. He's avoided the bunker. Good man. Oh, oh, I spoke. Oh. oh, what a night. This is what it's all about. Oh, is this a Wednesday night? Yeah. God, the dreams are made of. Won't last long. <laughs> yeah. Night and one, a bit short distance, but... Big making the build. <laughs> Oi. You know the whole way, you know the putting sound? Oh, you missed it all. <laughs> <laughs> Big Mikey in the mix. Oh. oh. Got it. <laughs> John O'Simes is asking, what is the most underrated watch brand that we sell? Right, so, so I personally think the most underrated watch brand at the moment is Cartier. Reason being is, it's one of our hottest sellers in recent weeks, the new shape Cartier de Santos. The green and the blue dial especially, would you think? Yeah, definitely. I do like Tudor as well. I think that's good value for money, Tudors. Uh, not like, we don't massively stock them too much, but when we do, I think they sell quite quick and I think they're very affordable with great movements, the same as Rolex. I'd agree with Carti, to be fair. I think Carti, as we sell them under retail, I think it's such great value straight away. And if you did come to me with a seven grand or under budget, your, and you're in your Rolex, you get a 1990s date just 36 mil, which, all right, it's not bad, but why settle for a 30 year old watch when you can get a brand new Carti Santos Slim on your wrist and even like a blue yeah, or a white belt? Well, sometimes new. You would do that one off him, wouldn't you? Oh, I've got Zimmer. All right. You're all right. right. No, you're right, you're right. The last one I played this hole, I dairy cream leak, dairy cream dip. Bad though. All right, Cal Cole Jones is asking, do we send in the post? Uh, yes, we do. Good question. So we do ship out. Uh, we've got free uh, next day delivery. But you must be in and it's signed for. For certain values only, we stay up to about 15,000. Just sort of play safe. Uh, we do use um, Apple AirTags as well, just so make sure we're double tracked. Uh, anything over sort of 15,000, we say, well, look, why don't you come in store? Sometimes it might be an hour, sometimes it might be three hours, sometimes it might be five hours, but at least you get to meet the team, you know, have a glass of champagne, have a beer, and sort of, you know, fully introduce ourselves. But yeah, we do ship. Right, so Colby's asking, what is the best men's watch for under 10 grand? I'm first, go on. Rolex, stainless steel, date just two, 116334. Any dial, I personally prefer the blue Roman dial. We do have one available right now for 8.8 eight on a green and white card. I think it's perfect watch for under, under 10 grand. It gets you into a 41 mil if you're a guy. Um, I would personally go for a Simon Gold, they just two. Um, black Roman, charcoal Roman. Um, if you go for Wimbledon, you'll exceed the budget by about a thousand pounds, but I'd go for one of them, if it was me personally. So the best to last. 36mm concealed bracelet to the Super Jubilee clasp, 
rather than stainless steel. I personally would go for steel and gold with a golden eye dial. Fine wine, looks good now, looked cool five years ago, will look good forever more. Come and see me if you want to buy one of them, not these two. Right guys, since we filmed that golf scene, would you know it, a golden eye has come available in stock. It is available at the North London branch, so should you be interested, message the North London page here. If you'd like to come and visit and see it at the penthouse showroom, it can be arranged with a deposit. Thank you guys. I'm talking slow now. Because what we're doing, I want a drink, Chad. I've got here an exploding ball. Just down there, a bit to the right, like it's done. Jamie Owens asking, can we source any watch and do we offer finance? Right, to your first question, yes, we can source any watch out there. Uh, owing that the watch is available to us in the market, obviously as watch traders we get access to like exclusive watch trading groups uh, that people will trade all around the world. Uh, so therefore we have you know a lot of access to a lot of watches all over the world um, however certain models at the time they just might not be available so they're 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 obviously not available for us uh, finance a lot of questions about this recently we are introducing it very 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 soon we've just been accepted for the finance we are updating the website the website is going to be full of all of our stock finance will be running all the interest rates will be on there as well so you guys can see it. I know we're going to do 12 months free interest rate for, the, for, for if you get it for 12 months. So that will be something that will uh, be interesting. And um, yeah, just stay posted on the Instagram. We will, up, we will upload it as soon as it's ready. That pool needs finance. <laughs> Better. 70, 80 yards in, 56. I really want to get it up. And on, it's going to give it a full, not that sort of power, but hit and hope, hit and hope. Silly boy, that would have been bang on if I would have been on. Silly boy. GQ889 would like to know a UK watch trader's thoughts on the Anthony Farah situation. Uh, I think it's a shambles. I think it's disrespectful to his customers or so called clients. We don't do consignment. Reason being is, I think maybe I'm a little bit old school, but I buy or sell. So if I buy something off you on the day, you get paid in full. And if I sell something to you, you pay me in full. There's never no chasing debt and stuff like that, vice versa, both ways, because I don't think it's right to let a trusted customer take a product that I built a relationship with and they don't stand on. So I wouldn't do it to a customer and hopefully they don't do it to us. So we don't consign. I think Anthony's, I don't know him, so it's not really my place to give my thoughts on what he's, well, yeah, I'm giving my thoughts on process. I think he's bang out of order. I think he's wrong. He's tried to own up to what he's doing, but I think it's just a drama queen. He's definitely a drama queen. He likes the spotlight, definitely, so. Yeah, I don't agree with it one bit. Was that a wedge out? So off put. Well, so. So George Jones Yates is asking, what was your first watch you all personally owned? We all owned a Yachtmaster 1, 40 mil. However, Cal was well off and he got an all gold one. <laughs> yeah, Cal got an all gold watch for his first watch. Me and Judd both had the stainless steel Yacht 1, 40 mil. Mine was a 2010 Harrods cards. You still got yours? 
No, you sold it. How much you sell it for? About four and a half grand with papers. Mikey, I'll give four grand for mine. Yacht Master One, platinum, dull and bezel. 2010 Harridge card. Four grand over for it. Oh. The ninth hole, ninth question. This one's asked by yours truly. Who would be your dream customer? Great question. Dead or alive? Ooh. You said you... If Matthew you McConaughey. McConaughey or McConaughey? Matthew McConaughey. I'll probably say Brad Pitt. I love Brad Pitt. But yeah, I'm going to think about it. Let me just... Let me just uh, Crap this. Three. Six. My pick is Mark Wahlberg because he's got a great watch collection, probably one of the best watch collections um, out of all the celebrities. Uh, I like all his films and he's a bit of a man, isn't he? so I think, yeah, I think Mark Wahlberg. But listen, thank you very much for tuning in. We're about to finish up on the ninth hole now. Tenth hole, rather. Um, I'm getting a bit hot and bothered. But uh, we hope you like the session and uh, if you want more watches and golf, feel free to drop a comment and let us know. Thank you. Stay with me, Mike. Don't need to judge it, because I know the hole. Lines it up. Thanks for watching. Oh. <laughs>